I'm lit right now. Oh my good, God, man. bro. Welcome back. Bro, bro, man. Island Depot, man. Island Depot is out there looking like damn Shaq on Orlando Magic. You know, the old posters you see in your big yeah. cousin house, or your yeah. uncle house. Like, he was looking like that Shaquille O'Neal, bro. I ain't even playing, bro. Looking like the real deal out here, bro. You didn't tell me Island Depot was a five star athlete. Like, I knew he was good, but. The Vet the Island Depot? Huh? Talking about Ola Depot or out of bio? Ain't that what I said, Ola Depot? <laughs> are Are you thinking about the center or the shooting guard? The damn center, black. Oh, that's man. that's Bam points, Bam out of bio. Rebounds four, huh? Oh, Bam out of bio. Bam, my bad. Damn. <laughs> he said like four it? different names. So he's like Victor Oladipo. That's a, a solid point guard, shooting guard. He said oh, Island. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's the soccer looking player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude look like a real soccer player. Nah, my yeah. bad. Damn, I'm tripping, tripping. Yeah. I was talking about out of uh, damn. Say his name, man. I don't want to disrespect. Bam out of bam. bam. I just call yeah. him Bam, man. Yeah, Bam. Yeah. I'm trying to. Say, yeah, <laughs> but Bam, Bam was out there looking like Shaq, bro. Like, but yeah, Shaq with Shaq. handles and 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 and, and it was <laughs> crazy, bro. Young bro, Shaq. Was, in the I don't see big men handle the ball like that unless it's like the all-star game or something. Then it's like, you know what I mean? Then yeah. it's like, let me have a little fun with this. It's the all-star game. But yeah, the, yeah, Heat versus Celtics, that's a solid one. What you think about the Warriors versus the Mavericks, though, since we're talking about sports, man? I think... <laughs> I think the chef gonna always find some way to cook up... They got this one uh, video, this one clip of him going around where he double fake homeboy. He act like he's going to take the shot. The dude just left the air. Then he act like he was going to uh, uh, jump out. But he didn't. So when dude came down, he was already turned that way, looking for Curry. Yeah. So then Curry snatched it back and then took the three. So that was like yeah. actually three fakes, bro, type. Curry, you know I mean? Curry cooking, bro. He's been cooking. He's a for magician, a minute, bro. bro. Yeah. Curry, the magician, the the magical chef, the mystical chef. The mystical. But Luca, they compare Luca to LeBron James, so that's something bro, to look I don't out know. For. I don't know if it's because Luca just on a good run or or he always been as good, but they really are. I'm seeing it too. They're comparing Luca to LeBron, bro. They saying. They saying Luca. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what's up, man? <laughs> they, they saying they need to put Luca as the NBA logo. Oh yeah, now nah, they may be on the international <laughs> in his hometown, but nah, I don't know all, all the way worldwide. Now he ain't oh, there yet. God. Jerry West, he that's him. That logo is the Jerry West. Oh, I say he ain't going nowhere, man. He ain't nah, going they nowhere. talked about Kobe doing replacing the logo, but that was during that whole time. But now that things settled down, no talk stop, bro. I think Jerry West, he got that copyright. Oh, uh, he fight for he fight for his position. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the sports talk for the Real Individuals podcast. <laughs> But man, what's up though, man? How was your birthday, bro? What'd you do oh, for the D Day, good. man? It was, it was good, man. Funny part, funny part is, um, I couldn't use my card, so I had no access to cash. Damn, it's not me being funny, you know. People, <laughs> nah, it happened. <laughs> it is, lying. It you lying, bro? <laughs> this ain't the truth. I had no, I had no access to cash, but. It was, it still ended up being a beautiful birthday party, man. My homegirls got me a little cake. We drank, we kicked it, we danced, we laughed, we told jokes. Even one of the homegirls' mom was there, and mom was cool as hell. So, like, man, just shout out, shout out to my folks, man. Just because you ain't at home, don't mean you ain't got family. Family is all around you. You just have to be willing to embrace it. Nah, that was great, though. At least you got to do something, though. So that was great. Oh, no, but my Friday, Friday got lit. I went oh, okay. Hey, this is a nice, fancy restaurant, bro. Hey, hey man. That just reminds you, though, you got to keep getting out there, bro. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, he got out of the house, man. He had to go to Syracuse or something, something like that. Where where, where the where the parties be at? You know, I'm trying to think of Pretty random much. places. No, I was up in I wasn't it wasn't in Syracuse. This is just um uh, it was you not yeah. I was gonna say New Hartford, but no, it was it was Utica. Yeah. Oh, that's so shout out to Utica and shout out to y'all. You know I mean, not a crazy big town, but a lot of food, a lot of choices to eat and stuff. So nice little restaurant. Uh, small towns be lit. It's always that that golden spot in those small towns. Appreciate that birthday love too, my guy. No, you already know what it is, bro. I so see love, you. man. Bro, we're gonna turn up in Miami one of these days. One day. One of these days. Nah, I'm some grown man. We might turn up somewhere else. Hey, all the homies be me and Vegas or something, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, when them plane tickets got to level out a little bit, I'll be too. No, you, ever, you notice that? No. Because uh, uh, I was looking at just some, some random. So, yeah, I just want to get away. Because I was I was actually going to go to Vegas for my birthday just on some quick. Because I remember the tickets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, your other podcasts can't reach if you want. I ain't rich. But usually you see tickets for a couple hundred. Like, oh, 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 oh. So I go look real quick. Bro, don't, tell me why the was like eight hundred dollars. I say what? Good old inflation, trying to make that money back from twenty twenty. They got to boost some prices up, bro. So, like what? Back in the day, three hundred dollars. I could have got, got, got a, I could have got a ticket, a room, uh, a, a rental, mission to a, a mission to a few shows. You don't even need a rental in Vegas if you stand on this. Because I'm probably going to, I already know, I, I want to be on the strip. Oh, okay. And, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, U- Ubers you know I mean? and walking. Yeah. But, like, that would have been my shows, my room, mm-hmm. my ticket, my plane ticket, and like anything else random I want to do out there. Yeah, that's one of, one of the spots. Yeah. Got to go there one day. But we were talking about basketball, though. I want to stay on why Pat Beverly hate. Chris Paul so much. Like, am I missing something? Like, I get it. There's rivalry anyway because, you know, we do the same thing and we're the same position. I get it. But, uh, yeah, why why does he hate him so much, man? They got a long-term rivalry back in, like, the little uh, camps that, you know, the, uh, the main player, like the LeBron camp, like, from those days, like, uh, they've been going back and forth for probably over 10 to 15 years and Probably before the league. I think that's where okay, it comes okay. from. That's where it's just back and forth. They've been battling. So this go back. But um, at least when you go back on stuff, though, it's not always a bad thing to go back to the past and, and rectify some things. Yeah. Kind of like we talked about the Warriors. Steph Curry actually just graduated from Davidson College. He was class in 2010, but he dropped out to go to the league. You know what I mean? Yeah. He left early, yes, you say. Mm-hmm. Not dropped out. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to him, man. I gotta cop some tickets though, man. We are talking about all them sports, sports events, celebrity boxing, bro. Some somewhere in Pembroke Pines, man. Black China's gonna be boxing for charity. Uh, yeah, man. Black China, man. Be careful. Hundreds of thousand dollars worth of work on that face. You don't want to mess that up. That's a waste of money, bro. So hopefully it's just a cool little charity thing. But if it's like a real cat fight, man. Nah, I think they're gonna be all right. They're gonna put on gloves, all that. Headgear. Face mask, yeah, headgear and all that, cause yeah, she don't need no hits, no hits to the face, all body shots. <laughs> be a rap ski. But, nah, uh, I hear you, bro, for sure. I might check <laughs> that out. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. We take it up. You know what else I want to check out? Those since we talking about hits. What's up, man? Tiffany Haddish. I didn't know she was an artist. Did oh, you know bro. that? Nah, man. She got, well, she got a track with Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne. Let me see if I wrote down the name. No, nah, I don't know the name, but she got a track with Snoop we'll, Dogg. We'll put and it Lil up Wayne. on the screen. She's doing a little <clears throat> Duval route. Duval had a billboard. She want one too. Hey, she got sleep? popularity. Hey, Bill Duval came out of nowhere and charted. Like, what the hell? Yeah. It's people, it's people, been, people been trying to get a hit since they was 14, 13 out here. 15. People have been in the game 15 years, bro. Still ain't still ain't even make them online charts. Yeah, Spotify. Yeah, it's right here. We hit the early 30s. Still ain't got a hit. <laughs> and we and, 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 they, and they've been trying. Whoever yeah, yeah, for real. Labels and all. Three-day studio sessions, bro. 20 hours a day, bro. 
like, can't do that. I wonder who they talking about. <laughs> man, I wonder too, man. Recorded under all type of conditions, man. Crazy. In studios, out of studios, in closets, in hotel right. rooms, like in the in, in some terrible places too. In the trenches, bro. They recorded <laughs> in the trenches. Like, what are you doing? Let's get out of here quick. We have five minutes to pack up. Like dumb why type of environment. Why he whispering on the track? <laughs> I wonder what that song gonna do. Hopefully she do chart. You're gonna see uh, more and more uh comedic trends in the in the music industry though. I think she will. Just the fact she was able to get big names like that, that shows your network. Yeah. So that's that's solid, bro. You heard that Kendrick Lamar album? Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I didn't listen to it, but I heard it's. At least you're not saying uh, the but, other thing. No, I did hear about it. My favorite track so far is the '95. That's hard. You gotta give it a listen. Yeah. They making the mockery, but building it up at the same. He's doing that Kendrick, bro. I can't explain it. Yeah, it's like he understands it, but at the same time, we gotta do better and blah blah. Like it, it is dope. It's dope. A couple more tracks. I think it's called Savior. Kyrie Irving went live. He went live with it. So add it to my gym playlist. Add that with the City Girls. Ow! Pause. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't. But, but uh, no, they, they did the Billboard, the Billboard Award, Billboard Music Awards. Yeah. <laughs> like, <who> is- <laughs> did he host on that? Or did he was like they said that did was he terrible. Host this? They already was terrible <laughs> hosting. <laughs> I, ain't just, I ain't watched that. I can't. I can't. I seen like the first few minutes. I'm like, nah, y'all got to have a host to keep it all aligned and keep the people in. No, engaged. but people was tripping because the way one of their dresses was, I think it's, I want to say it was JT. It, JT was in the dress, but it was super high up and it looked like you could see, see something. And it was live too, so it wasn't no stopping it. No. Oh, the internet man. got it. So you you could I don't know I feel like it, it, that is but she said it wasn't that so but maybe she had on some super tight panties and where it gripped yeah. no creep but yeah. you know what I'm saying you saw YouTube we had to explain this to them <laughs> yeah y'all get on YouTube man we can't play it because then they'll ban our whole video but y'all get you on take it, it's on the gram or Twitter somewhere it should be out there in the social media land but um yeah man. Billboards turn ratchet, bro. Turn to the BT Awards. <laughs> the BT Awards meets billboards, man. Bruh. Yeah, I mean, we, since we talking about celebrities and billboards, and stars and shit. Um, Kim K. Tierra was on the Sports Magazine uh, Swimsuit Edition cover, I believe. Doing the model thing, man. So, yeah, Kim K. She on a run now. Like ever since the whole Kanye, she been she been grinding. So you got to got to grind super hard after a breakup, bro. Like break breakups are hard, bro. Yeah, that is you know what I mean? you going. Kind of like the kind of like I think I feel like the Migos breaking up low key. I don't know. You know how I go to you know how I go with one of you saying, or especially with, with your homies and they family, so they was real tight. Yes, yeah, a difference. You know yeah. how I go with, with some, but you know how I go with one of you get a girlfriend, get a. And he got wifey, wifey. And he just, yeah. oh, yeah, he out of there. Yeah, family you know what I mean? and all. Yeah, no, yeah. I can tell exactly what happened. And he, they like, come to the studio. We trying to cook. Come to the studio. We trying to cook. Come. <laughs> oh, no, no. Two was fam. <laughs> all right. Hey, nephew. Hey, nephew. Come to the studio. I got one. And they got a track together that's out right now. That's hard, too. Hotel yeah. lobby. Heard a couple of clips and, on the ground. Yeah. And it's just Migos and um, Quavo. They they call themselves they call themselves unconfused so I respect that is is not like they not like they're trying to take call them egos because mm-hmm. then be, you know what I mean I don't know yeah they're just trying to diversify keep it going sometimes it's hard to get three people on the same page you know exactly and like it like you said like, like dude literally just had a baby like don't they got two kids now so? yeah yeah they family grown they they own family grown plus as well as you know offset and it's his family that he had before then so there's a lot going on and yeah man the music the music gotta keep going so whoever can do it gotta make it happen bro but yeah, yeah we'll see what happens with that situation 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But at that same award thing though, uh I gotta give a big shout out. Janet Jackson gave the Icon Music Award to Mary J. Blige. Legend. All our aunties listen to it. Big cousins, whatever. She deserved it. Whole legend out here. That was solid though. I like that. Legend to legend. Giving the honors. <laughs> oh, I didn't even peep that, y'all. Yeah, that's her story. And yeah. And I don't know if you saw the did you see it? I seen a little little pieces of whatever I see on the, well, the media, the Instagram. Her, well, her dress was looked good, but her body, especially, you know, she's not young. Talking and about Mary or Janet. Mary, both Mary. of them. They, no, but Mary in particular. But man, I'm talking about Mary right now. Yeah. And Mary J. Blige, bro, her body was so snatched. She was so toned in. I was like, go ahead. Just keeping that fitness going. If you keep it well into your late 40s, 50s, whatever, however, however old she is, you can maintain, mm-hmm. bro. It's all about staying ready so you don't got to get ready. I like that. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to her, man. She been, she been, you know, doing her thing, man. Yeah. And definitely shout out to Janet Jackson, too. But the, the, the news was, I was reporting... Janet, I mean, Mary receiving that award, but definitely shout out to Janet too. Mm-hmm. Mary, you're a legend, man. Salute. I ain't the only one who just had a birthday recently. Um, Yo Gotti had a birthday. I mean, his birthday was a lot more lit than mine. Oh, yeah. Homeboy yeah, yeah. <laughs> bought two Rolls Royces. Crazy. <laughs> Double R. If you're going to do it, do it, huh? Oh, yeah. He's doing his thing. Salute to him. Happy birthday, yeah. OG. Happy birthday. Shout out to Gotti. Oh, speaking mm-hmm. of cars, though, um, you know, Rick Ross just had a car show. Somebody we went to school with and actually went out there. Oh, for and, real? And, um, yeah, she looked like, I think her name was Shonda or something. I got her on Instagram, so I don't know her real name. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, from, from, um, Homestead scene. But she, mm-hmm. she, um, she out there and, Yo, they look lit out there, man. And it look, it don't look like wild. It don't look like dangerous. Like Rick Ross got that nice, man. No, no, he got a nah, nice. I, little, I, people, I hate the way people make stuff with us. Like it, it's just dangerous or wild all the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Look like a good time. I seen uh Tory Lanez. He had, I guess he was joking about that little smart car thing or whatever. I uh, saw but- that. I've seen that yeah. I've seen a couple of clips. So he, he got a good function. I believe it's the first annual one. So look like many more to come. And, oh, that's funny because he's a little guy. So Rick, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've been having a well, cool Rick, back and forth. Yeah. Tori should buy him a minivan then, especially the old Rick Ross. Buy yeah. a big bus. Minivan. Yeah, yeah. You got to gotta throw them little cool little social media jabs. So. No, that's yeah. great, though. I should have brought the Honda over there, man. Bring the Honda over there. Man. <laughs> Honda, yo, Four leaks and all. Eating e- that DJ Dells? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. <laughs> black on black Honda, bro. I was the man for, like, that last couple months oh. of school, man. E Ness actually liked my comment that I meant to tell you that. So oh, I just put it on there. I was, I was like, man, I... Me and my boy used to ride with you at school in the DJ Dems. Chick stuff because oh, I man. put the first couple lines in there. Yeah, he was, oh, for real? He was oh, like, oh, there you went that with it. Oh, man. Shout out to E-Ness, man. Real dude. Yeah. Man. I was surprised you, he man. did that. I'm surprised he took the time to like, you know what I mean? That's a classic. Think, Everyone know that one. So. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Shout out. So shout out to E-Ness, Randy. And shout out to your Honda, man. Shout for out real, to everybody, man. Shout out, man. For real, for real, bro. Yeah, 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 man. Appreciate y'all watching the Real Individuals podcast. R.I.P. Any last words for him, bro? R.I.P. Man, I'm cut. I'm cut up. That's Klutz. You know what we do. That was my pin drop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Mic drop, pin drop, podcast <laughs> drop. Uh. uh. That's what it is, man. Bro, you still ain't cut it.
<laughs> oh, okay. I was like, no. Sometimes I, I know you you throwing a little curveball. I was like, oh, man, is he going? Is he going to keep going, or is that's the end? Oh, I guess no, that was it. Was, oh, okay, I had then. nothing to say, so I was being cool about it. Oh, that was the last <laughs> words, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Till next time, peace. He say, well, so yo, you <laughs> <gonna end> it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs>